Hi ho, Sass crew. How you guys doing? Alright, you guys. We're getting tropical. I mean, I feel like I could have been tropical for a while. Because there has been a lot of tropical weather. But I haven't done it till now. So here we are. We've got Tangerine Tempo, which is the life of the party. Um, orange that isn't very bold. But... It matches perfectly with, let me show you. What is this one called? Island style. This is an Encoco one. That inner orange is bold like Fire Island Flame, but the outer one is real soft, and I think it matches perfectly with Tangerine Tempo. So that's why we're doing that. And then I did pull out um, a Coastal Magic overlay, and we'll see. How about that? We'll just see. I don't know yet, but I think, but I think it's on the docket. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Stacy. I'm not a stylist. I'm just a lover of Color Street and nail strips in general. Uh, I've been doing my nails for, oh my gosh, going on four years now. In that amount of time, the longest I have went with bare nails um, was probably two weeks and it, I had a surgery and basically they made me. Otherwise I wouldn't have done it then. Like in fact I was planning out the world's best colonoscopy and <laughs> I was like if we're going to do <laughs> surgery I'm going to have nails for it. Uh, no, you're not, Stacy. Don't care how many cool colon nail ideas you have. You're not doing them. So that was my that was my time that I went without nails. I stinking hated it. Um, I've I am so used to the extra strength that Color Street adds or nail strips add to my fingers that. It is, it's like nail break every day without something on them. I'm just, just so used to it. So, and I started by, um, just doing some YouTubes for friends that were like, Hey, wait, how'd you do that? And I was like, Oh, I'll do you a little video of it. And then uh, just got in the habit of always, always recording, and I've met so many friends through my nail tube uh, that you know it just just keeps going now. I feel like this is gonna be a perfect, perfect match, but we'll see. Oh, do I want that end? I think I do. Okay. Yeah. That actually is a really perfect match, you guys. Yep. Beauty. And I'm trying to... Now, this, you guys, I'm recording this on the 12th of July. Um, I've been wearing that Get In Line set for few days loved it just kind of settled into it and left it um, we're leaving for my mom's on Wednesday and it's Monday so in my head I'm thinking oh I'll do these for going up to mom's but now like as I sat down to do them I'm thinking I'll probably do them well I don't know I might do them once more before we go, you know? You don't know me. <laughs> I just get where I'm just in the mood. I feel like I kind of got through that little bit. I get really just ready. I don't know if I like this station, you guys. I tried us a new one today. 
and this one is called Ocean Sunset. I don't feel like I like it, so let's change. Yeah, this is better. But I do love that nail. It's beautiful. Today we had um, Beef got to go in and get his beautifying. They gave him a good brush out, got rid of some of his mats. Now he has, in the time since he found us, which was um, the end of May, around, I think it was the 21st. And then it was just in, uh, like a couple weeks later that we were like, okay, if nobody lays claim to this sweet boy, we will keep him. Um, you know, and nobody did. And we brought him to the vet and he has a chip, but it's not registered to anyone. Uh, and he has the, where he's been neutered and released. And they took a little nip of his ear off. And I won't get started on that because I feel like they took too much of his ear off. But, you know, it's not on, it's not up to me, right? Nobody asks me that question. Anyway, um, June 30th, he had his vet appointment and, you know, all his shots and checkup and such. Uh, and then we made him a beautician appointment <laughs> so they could cut his nails and um, give him a really good brush out. And the gals were super nice and they did a great job and he was very funny because we got there and he's like pops out of his little his carriers like it looks like a little duffel bag a little soft carrier and um, he pops up like hi guys uh, so I'm here to play with you today and was super sweet and being super sweet all over everybody and they were like oh you're such a sweet boy blah 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 and, uh, Willow and I were like, <laughs> good luck. And so I said, um, do you need us to stay while you brush him out and do his nails and such? She's like, no, you know, if you have errands or whatever. I said, well, we're just gonna zip across the road and, you know, put in gas and do a car wash and uh, be right back. And it literally is across the road, right? So we went and did that, and we come back, and Beef's trotting around the little room, and she's like, woo, he got real mad. <laughs> I said, yeah, he's, um, like, we didn't bring him, you know, not that the brushing wasn't good, because, but but Willow can brush him at home. Like, we know we can brush him as long as you never brush anything other than his top half. <laughs> like, as long as you don't leave his top side, <laughs> he's real good. <laughs> oh, my God. So, it took him three, three different times to get his nails snipped. And I'm like, yeah, that's why we brought him because he... He pretends that he's the world's sweetest boy until you get near his belly or his butt. And then he's like, all right, lady, it's on. So, but they got him, got him taken care of. And they gave him, they conned him with some treats, which is the way to his belly or to his heart is through his belly. So it worked out and he smells yummy and looks good. And they did get his... His one ear was a little crusty, so they got that taken care of too, which was nice. You hear me talking about you, Beefy? He just came walking in like, did you mention me? Are you telling me, telling them people about the horror I had to live through today? So, you know. And he got home and him and Tartar were kind of rumbling around playing. And I said to Willow, 
Carter just said to Beef, you smell like flowers, and <laughs> now they're fighting. <laughs> you smell like flowers, Beefy. And I don't know that we feel like we'll have to take him all the time. He definitely uh, doesn't shed much. He didn't, they didn't even have much they needed to brush out of him because Willow does, uh, he will definitely let her brush him. But um, we're hoping that we can get him like, you know, while he's sleeping, he'll let us clip, clip a couple toenails. That's what we do with Tartar and it works out good, so. Tardy's pretty good about that kind of stuff, though. Tartar's just such a soft-hearted little sweetie. He doesn't get yowly or crabby ever. He gets whiny if he doesn't get enough love. I got, gosh, a while ago I got Tartar a water fountain, which he loves. And um, the little engine kicked the bucket on it. It's kind of hard because we have well water and it's a little rusty. Even with the water softener and stuff, it's just a little rusty. And um, This has so much more gold in it than it does orange. It just, to me, is just not an orangey color, really. Anyway, um, the little pump in it died out, and I ordered a new one from Amazon and got that and replaced it, and Beef has been loving having a, the little water fountain. and I are getting ready for the big fall ruckus which should be mid-August I've been pairing nail bundles up and stuff to for giveaways and I mean does that scream orange to you guys is it just me that's like what are you doing saying you're orange you're not orange <laughs> You are not a tangerine, sir. <laughs> I love these little, these super busy ones that have lots on them. Calling yourself a tangerine. Who are you trying to kid, mister? Nippers or else the orange stick are definitely my preferred edge cleanup method compared to um, compared to using this little paper part that I showed you guys. I don't have my mat on tonight and things are still pretty darn sticky. Pretty darn sticky. Ugh, get out of there. There we go. I feel like I need a very tropical vacation to do these justice. But I'm not gonna have one. 
going to northern Minnesota where it'll be cooler than it is here, more than likely. <laughs> far so good. I'm excited for the thumb if I can get it to do what it's doing in my head, right? You know how that goes and you're like, I want to do this. And then you actually do it and you're like, well that wasn't what I wanted to do. That didn't come out like I planned. I almost switched my whole mani up just to use the new yellow. And I was like, no, I don't gotta do that. I'll have plenty of time for using yellows. But it is good. It is just like a perfect sunny yellow. It doesn't lean to the orange. It doesn't lean anywhere. It just is yellow. Which is nice to have. You know, a bold, sunny yellow. Not Belgian buttercup style, which is pretty, pretty soft. Resticking itself elsewhere. All right. I like these kinds with little, little leafy bits, palmy bits on them. into one of the little cat houses and that'll end it. I haven't seen anything on the subscription boxes yet and I'm so ready to hear about those. I love the fact that they are supposed to be exclusive sets like you're going to be able to get these elsewhere. Now, <clears throat> that does not change the fact that D-Stash will probably be loaded with them. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, you won't be able to order them on Color Street website. I'm interested to hear if there's going to be any differences. Like, say you get the, like, beginner level set. And it's one, you know, one set, okay? Um, and it's like, now you guys remember, I have no idea. This is just my, like, wondering. This is my rambling ons. So let's say you get the beginner set and it's the art set. Like, it's this. It's the, it's the hibiscus set, okay? And then if you get the medium set, 
the like inter intermediate level set, then say they add this tangerine tempo in. So you're getting two sets. And then is the advanced one going to be, you know, then they're adding in the coastal, you know, like an overlay with it. Because we know there's going to be different, you know, three different levels. And they're supposed to be um, exclusive sets. I'm just wondering if they're going to be like, every tier is going to be different. Or if they're just going to add like one thing to each tier, you know. My guess is they'll probably just add one thing to each tier. But, you know, I still like to wonder. I nip that end straight across because I have very square thumbnail beds, so. What are you talking about? I'm glad I took this coastal out because I don't, I don't love this, you know, solid white with just the one, the one bit on it. It needs more than that. For me anyway, it needs more than that. Now, what I'm hoping I can do, oh lordy, we'll see. So I want the orange at the tip, you guys. So what I'm going to try to do, and these are super sheer if you were wondering. definitely lost the little hibiscus but on that same note when it cures it's gonna look totally different you guys Cures, it'll be okay. Like, I don't think it'll be quite as hidden. Let me clean up these bottoms a bit. tip you guys totally needed that I wonder if it wouldn't be mm -hmm. move one piece here I wonder if it wouldn't save me a little cleanup if I do this so I'm leaving the plastic on this overlay part um, only because it gives it some weight, you know what I mean? How much? 
much did I I think I can see that hibiscus well enough for me like because I like there's a piece here that's making me nuts you guys I like the orange tip well enough a lot enough that I don't mind um losing like a little bit of the I'm trying to see where I want to cut this off and it's hard to tell. Probably there. We'll say there. Okay, that was pretty, pretty good measuring for some kind of half-butted measuring I was doing there, you guys. All right, now let's clean the edges up. I don't know which, which one worked easier. It was nice putting this on with two layers because it gave it a lot of weight. I'm probably not going to have to clean up as much around the base, which I'm a fan of, because I feel like I can never get it done well. Those are super cute like that. Yep, yeah, I think... I really do think when this cures, well you guys will see because I'll post a picture of it, but I do think when it cures, it's going to be just fine. There we go. Yeah. And I do think because these are all not, you know, not glittered, that it's totally going to be okay. What do you think? Yeah. I like it. It might have a lot of weight for me, you guys. I might end up changing this. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I think in the morning. All right. There it is, guys. If you haven't liked and subscribed, please do. See you next time. Oh, is it good? Can't get his tongue because he's so on top of it. <laughs> It's all over your nose. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry, Beef won't come steal it. It's all you. It's all you, buddy, buddy. There you go. I might have lied. Beef's coming. <laughs> Lick faster. <laughs> <laughs> Roughest tongue. Rougher than turtles. Quick, quick, Mom, I need more snack. You look in your whole hand. Don't worry, Willow, I'll get it all. Oh, beep, you good boy. Tardy's like, what about me, friends? I'm still here. That's all. It's all gone. Oh, come on. <laughs>
It's empty. It's